Flash photography gives you greater control over lighting and has the potential to completely change the impression a photograph creates. This video introduces some settings and techniques you can use when shooting portraits with a flash. Let's start with bounce flash photography. First, let's try attaching the flash unit to the camera and use the on-camera flash to light the subject directly from the front. See how the bright light shining directly on the subject causes glare and deep shadows. Now let's try bounce flash photography with the flash head tilted upwards. Fire the flash with the head aimed 90 degrees up or slightly to the rear. The light from the flash bounces off the ceiling for a softer effect. This time, try tilting the flash sideways and bouncing the light from a wall. The soft light from the side adds depth. The flash unit's built-in catch light reflecting panel can be used with bounce flash photography to add catch lights to your subject's eyes. Next, Let's up our game using off-camera radio AWL. Radio AWL lets you put flash units wherever you want. Before switching from on-camera to off-camera lighting, go to the photo shooting menu on the camera and select flash control, wireless flash options, Radio AWL to enable Radio AWL. Next, rotate the flash power switch to remote and check that Radio AWL is enabled. When using flash units for remote photography, you will need to adjust the zoom head position manually. A wide angle is normally used. You could also use a wide panel once we've finished adjusting settings, we're ready to shoot. First, let's try placing the flash unit slightly off to one side and a little higher than our subject. Lit from this angle, the nose and other features will produce somewhat darker shadows, lending the subject a slightly contemplative aspect. Now let's move the flash unit a little toward the center. This gives a brighter effect with fewer shadows. Adding the flash unit's supplied bounce flash adapter to the mix makes for softer lighting. Let's take a look at flash accessories. Third-party diffusers or softboxes can be used for softer lighting. When attached to a flash unit, this accessory, also known as a flash bender, increases the size of the flash. Making the flash bigger diffuses the light from the flash for a softening effect. This is a softbox. Using a softbox further increases flash size. You can also use umbrellas and the like. Choose an accessory to suit your personal preference or creative intent. Placing the flash closer to your subject also increases its apparent size, further softening the light. Now let's try taking some shots at different zoom head positions. To choose a zoom head position, first press the rotary multi-selector left, the direction labeled zoom, to highlight the current zoom head position. 
rotate the multi-selector to choose a zoom head position. Choose low numbers for wider flash angles, high numbers for smaller angles. Here we'll try an angle of 200 millimeters. Smaller angles produce a spotlight effect.